right, so boom. First and foremost, I haven't recorded a video on my phone in a long ass time. So I'm getting 2016, 2017 chiseled Adonis vibes. Well, I should be ranting about the MTA, ranting about something. More importantly, now that I think about it, I'm probably going to rant about something. Because what the hell is cancel culture? Because over the course of the past three years, and more importantly, over the course of the last six months, somebody's getting canceled every single week. And I would just like to know, what the hell's the purpose of it? And more importantly, what's the end game of canceling somebody? Because I always found it odd how, oh, we the portion of the delegation of this person's fan base consider you hereby canceled because you endorse, promote, or view certain things different than I do. So we are going to make sure that you're canceled and never work again. Like, what are you, what are you looking for here? I don't quite understand it. More importantly, if you were to cancel somebody, right, like we've seen happen, immediately the person who is being canceled comes out and they apologize for their actions. And then immediately it's deemed, oh, well, what you're doing over here is a PR move. It's all a stunt. They don't actually feel that way. They would have never said what they said in the first place. We'll never forgive you. Mm, we don't care if you're doing any charitable works that will defend you actually changing your mind. It doesn't matter. You once said it once, so we'll never forgive you for it. I don't understand what the hell the deal is, really. Like, the purpose of conversation is understanding. So if somebody were to, you know, extend the olive branch to you and say, hey, you should probably understand why we feel the way that we feel. And the person who's on the, you know, on the side of being canceled says, you know what? I'm going, I'm going on my ears. Educate me. And they come to you and now you're like, oh, wait a minute now. Whoa, we just wanted to say we can educate you. We actually don't want to. Consider yourself still canceled. What is the goal here? I, I don't get that. And it seems like all people have been, you know, canceled over the course of the past three years or so. I don't quite understand what the goal of, you know, cancellation is. Because if somebody, remember back in the day, I'll go on a little tangent here. Remember back in the day before social media was even a thing or even became as big as it was, where a celebrity was only what they put out there. Like they were only their craft. If, they, if you were an actor, you are only an actor. If you are a musician, you are just a musician. If you are an athlete, you are just an athlete. If you were anything, public figure, it was what your job was attached to. Now we've gotten to the point where we attach your personal life to what your career path is. And if both aren't aligned with what a person as a fan would deem, you know, to their liking, we're going to cancel you. Oh, well, we love your music, but you support. We're not listening to nothing no more. And the weirdest thing about cancellation is you'll support somebody up until you find out what it is that they either promote, support, or associate with. And then all of a sudden, now you make it seem as if you forgot everything they may have done beforehand. Or I should say, you forgot all of your years of support of this individual. It never made sense to me. Like, why are you going to try to catch people in this genjutsu to make it seem like you never supported who you supported because now it becomes popular not to support them? You're not catching me in this genjutsu. It's kind of stupid, isn't it? Like Doja Cat, for example. First and foremost, I even know who the hell Doja Cat was. When somebody told me Doja Cat, I'm like, what the hell is it Doja? I thought they were talking about, you know, that Asian, you know, the kitty that has a hand like this. It's like a, it, it, it shows up in like a vase or something like that they keep in front of the house. It was a piece of Asian artifact or a piece of Asian culture. Then I found out it was a lady who made the song, Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. I said, wait a minute. First off, who wants to participate in the challenge to become a mill tank? If there was any sort of animal that you could become, a cow? You want to become something that says moo and gets milked? Really? That's kind of dumb. But turns out she was in all these, you know, white supremacist rooms. I love her music. Where are people faggots, you know? Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to fucking kill myself. But, hey, if you do it, do it on camp. Man, what the f is you what talking about? What the f was that? Nigga? I'm sorry, 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 sorry. You happen to be on an immediate little, oh, well, we cancel you, all this other. Like, damn, bro. I understand why you would do it, but really, uh, what what is what is the goal here? You already done gave her the streams. She already done made the money, all this other stuff. Now it's some we will cancel you. Like, what, what are you looking to accomplish here? I, I just, and why do you have to announce? Just don't do it. Because it's only a matter of time before, well, after six months of the apology, all of a sudden nothing's going to happen to her and her career will be revived. Everybody loves a comeback story. I need to know what is the goal of the cancel culture here. Don't nobody give a f what your dumb ass think. Give me this mother Get your ass up out of here. Baby. Nigga. 
Anyway, Riley, what do you think?